Hello everybody, this is R by G4. You might know me as R by G4 on Twitter as well. Welcome to my new video. I'm excited to talk to you guys again. I'm excited for all the big things that are happening to Earth too. I'm pretty sure you as well. Come join me on this journey. Like and subscribe. Comment on the link below for the algorithm. And I'm gonna leave the promo code down below so you can keep on supporting the channel. So let's get right into it, guys. As you see here on the video, as you might know, those are the palm tree islands from Dubai. Dubai currently right now it's not up for grabs. It's to off off limits for everybody. Everybody's constantly talking about Dubai, constantly talking about when they're gonna open up, when they're gonna be in the marketplace. Trust me, me too. I'm excited. I can't wait. Dubai is gonna. It has so much potential to grow. Nobody's gonna know what the price is gonna open at. Is it gonna overtake all the nations and be number one in the in the marketplace as the most expensive tiles? I see it happening for sure. Cause I'm. I see so much pent up demand that I've even seen palm trees being palm tree islands being made by artists in the game in different mega cities. So that leads me to believe. Well. They can buy in Dubai, so let's create a Dubai somewhere else for now, and I get, and I guess get that adrenaline rush of you know that feeling of that Dubai type of flow, you know. So in the video right here, I want to show you guys a potential strategy that could occur in the game that nobody's really talking about right now, and I'm pretty surprised by looking at the map. There are currently a lot of Middle Eastern nations right now that are up for grabs for a really good access point for a lot of individuals in the game. For example, let's look at the heat map. From what you see here, obviously, United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia off limits. The heat maps are, there's no bright red lights or orange lights. Look at Qatar. Qatar is a nation interconnected to both of those nations and they're currently really hot. They're being bought up because of the potential that they have in the long term. The entry point is too cheap to ignore. So let's go to Doha, the capital of Qatar. As you, many of you guys might know, Doha, Qatar is going to be hosting the World Cup in 2022. So, that being said, Qatar is also a really rich nation in a lot of contexts, in a various contexts. For example, petroleum and oil, you name it, they got it. It's a powerful economy. They're hand in hand with Dubai. Well, not hand in hand, you can't compare it either, but they're a powerful nation as well. Really rich, really rich country. So, if we zoom into Doha... A lot of their tiles are sold out. But look at the entry point. They're currently selling for a dollar fifty-eight per tile. A lot of people could afford that. If they could they could afford five, ten, you name it. I have a couple of tiles there as well. Look at the in the capital there's a lot of tiles available up for grabs. They might not be where the skyscrapers are, but they're in Qatar. So why am I mentioning this? I'm mentioning it because I believe once Dubai opens up, Saudi Arabia, aka United Arab, Arab Emirates, the surrounding nations are going to skyrocket due to the pent up demand. Let's say certain investors look at Dubai and they're like, well, it's either too expensive or the tiles that they're looking to buy, they're also that. Because we know that these nations are closed off and one of the main reasons that I believe that they want everybody to have a fair opportunity which is why they're going to have a countdown is because a lot of people have money ready to splurge on these countries they have the money ready to go and there's a lot of era money we already know that are willing to spend whatever they need to spend to get tiles in their nation and a lot of heavy investors that won't want to buy in that nation. So, my strategy for a really for an investor slash player is look at nations such as Kuwait. Let's go. Let's go back. Qatar, 
and Bahrain. Because those nations are in the Middle East. And those nations in general, in the real life world, they're really powerful as well. Look at Bahrain. Bahrain is bright red. Bahrain is another nation that I see a lot of potential because of its entry point. Look at um, the price of per tile. Price per tile, 98 cents if you round it up. That's absurd. Because I'm pretty sure Dubai is going to open up at a really higher price compared to these. So, hyper growth could happen to these nations if Dubai opens up and it goes really well for the for the for the country. Because it's like a domino effect. If Dubai goes up, the interconnected country is gonna go up due to the pent up demand and the connection that they have to the country. So what I have done I don't know that many people have done it as well, but since I have fear of missing out on Dubai, what I did was I'm looking at possible entry points to the country. So this is Bahrain and this is a popular bridge that connects Bahrain to Saudi Arabia. So these tiles are all bought up. They're all bought up. Even on the bridge. Look at the bridge. They're all bought up all the way. So just to show you what I own. Go to my profile real quick. And I'm going to go down. And I'm going to show you what I did. Look. So right here. Let me see. Yeah, right here. Be a bit. So, I had a fear of missing out, and I was looking at those tiles at the bridge, and they were basically all sold out. And I found a tile literally open, and I bought it so just to see what could happen in the long term. And I also bought part of the bridge connecting to Saudi Arabia, which are up to sale to a certain extent, because to a certain point. That game doesn't let you buy anymore because it's too close to you know, too close to Saudi Arabia. These are my tiles right here. I bought four tiles. I bought them for three seventy five. It's not that much of an increase as of now, but right there, the bridge is not up for sale no more because they're now considered, um, I believe, United Arab Emirates tiles and they're up for sale for 10 cents but in reality they're not 10 cents they're just not up for sale so entry points like this to countries in the surrounding nations will be crucial because they're gonna have a domino effect and people are not talking about it 98 cents for 98 cents for a tile in in the middle e in the middle eastern gulf region it's, it's absurd it's absurd because it's happening to all the countries and i think it's gonna be just to show you those countries the, the tiles are not up for sale so you get an idea so yeah um bahrain qatar and kuwait even oman oman over here let's ch check for oman just so you have an idea how much how cheap they are see right here they are currently 67 cents and they're literally so close to dubai it's crazy yep right here there you go so let me know what you think let me know what you think if what I'm saying has a point, or if you believe it, or if you disagree, and comment down below what you think the opening price for Dubai is going to be, because I'm really curious, and I want to know what you guys think. So, guys, I know you all want Dubai, but don't forget about Qatar, that's up for sale right now, don't forget about Kuwait, don't forget about Bahrain, and let me know if you have a similar strategy to mine, or if... Um, I opened your if I opened up your mind to a different perspective. So thank you for coming. Thank you for listening. And I hope you like and subscribe. And don't forget guys, this is just my personal opinion. Don't follow what I do. This is up to you. This is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, yeah guys, play it safe. Always play it safe.
you know so have a good night talk to you guys